Hello everyone, Alicia here and welcome to this week's video. Today I went over to Instagram to the hashtag DrawMeArly, which it's somehow been like three years since the last time I did one of these. It does not feel like it's been that long, but it has somehow. I let all of you know a little while ago that I was going to be doing this soon, and there are now over 100 posts in that hashtag. and. It was so hard for me to choose just three to do for this video. I was actually hoping to do more, but I ended up wanting to paint everyone instead of just doing sketches. So I had to narrow it down to three this time, but I am hoping to do this again within the next couple of months. So keep using the hashtag. I will be doing more of these. I wonder if the person that I'm drawing right now has noticed that it's them while I've been talking. This first painting is a uh, Zephy Spontaneous. Here's the post they tagged me in. I was immediately drawn to, of course, their beautiful green hair. I also really love the angle and shape of their head in this picture and the way that their hair and the hat frames the head. And I also really like the lighting in this image. Lately, I've been trying to block in my initial loose shapes using a flat brush, and I've really been loving the shapes that I'm able to get in my first loose layers by working with brushes like this. So that's been a fun and different experiment. The sketchbook that I'm using today is the Etcher Lab Everyday Sketchbook. This is their hot press one. I've only ever used this one for gouache in the past, which I did my movie scenes painting in, so I wasn't really sure what to expect when working with watercolors. And I have to say, while hot press paper is usually my absolute favorite, there is like a side of hot press paper that I don't like, and this paper is an example of what I don't really enjoy in hot press papers. One thing I usually like about paper like this is that you're able to get so much texture, and we do get that here. The problem comes more in how the paints layer and how the paints dry, so I had lots of issues with my previous layers reactivating, and also my colors were drying a bit more dull and a bit lighter, so it took a bit more work to build up the saturation as well as those deeper, darker values. And I think that if these were loose sheets of watercolor that I was trying to create like more finished paintings on, I would probably not use this paper anymore, but because it is a sketchbook, I'm okay with still using this for practices and watercolor sketches like this, like smaller pieces, but I definitely prefer Etcher's Everyday Sketchbook, the cold press version, over this hot press one. Because I decided pretty early on that I wanted to paint everyone instead of just sketching, I had to limit the amount of time that I spent on each person, so I ultimately ended up setting a timer of 30 minutes for myself, which turned into roughly 10 minutes per sketch and then 20 minutes for each painting. Working on the small Patreon originals every month has been really helpful in developing a skill set for creating smaller, faster watercolor sketches. It may seem like shorter paintings would be something that could come naturally, but the process of being decisive and putting down marks and being intentional about the progress I'm making is something that I've learned slowly over time. And while it was a bit of a challenge not to like try to fine tune every little detail about these watercolor sketches, I ultimately had a lot of fun with the 30 minutes I spent on each of these and I'm pretty happy with how they all turned out.
So thank you very much to Zephy for using the hashtag and for giving me the opportunity to paint your beautiful face. Up next, I am painting Khadija. I am absolutely in love with this reference photo. There's just so much to appreciate here. Khadija had several pictures in her post and I had to choose one of them, which was really difficult, but ultimately I really loved the angle of the head here, the colors in her beautiful hijab, and the lighting is so fascinating. Most of her face and clothing are actually in shadow, and then we just have a bit of light on the one side, and of course the scene surrounded by all the leaves and trees is absolutely gorgeous. One of the tricky things during the sketching phase that I wasn't really anticipating was that her head is actually actually being photographed from like a slight angle. So we're seeing a little bit more of the underside as it looks like the camera is a bit lower than eye level. So I had to kind of tilt the perspective a little bit to make sure that everything was properly proportioned or as close as I could get it. One of my favorite things when working with such a strong lighting scene like this is blocking in the values first because so much can be done in just like a minute knocking out the white of the page. I also love how the depth of Khadija's skin tone is kind of reflecting these red and purpley colors from the hijab and they're all in shadow so everything just works together really well. I said this a little bit earlier but I really do wish that I could have immediately painted all of you. There's something really really special about looking through all of your pictures. I know that I regularly get to read all of your comments, so in that way I get to connect with you all when I'm reading your words, whether it's through a comment here on YouTube or an email or a message on Instagram, and that's really special. But scrolling through the pictures of you, and not just the pictures of you all, but ones that you specifically wanted to share with me and wanted me to see, it's just such a special feeling of community and it's one of those like pure moments of going ah yes this is why i want to do what i'm doing it reminds me a lot of my time in working at a public library you may think that a library is a perfect place for someone to work who loves books which of course i do and i worked in public libraries for a few years before my children were born i learned in that time that the truest joy in working in that place was actually the community a public library is a service and there are so many things that are provided to people and I had the opportunity to see so many different people in different walks of life and aside from all of the books that I got to read and got to see and experience, that was the truest treasure that I took away from that time was community. So when we have moments and experiences like this together, when I can actually see you, I can see the community, it just feels beautiful and it feels really special. Towards the end of this painting, you may be able to see how the paper was really fighting with me. It just didn't want to take any more layers and my paint was like soaking in right away. So I had to walk a delicate balance of just trying not to overwork the painting and I am pretty happy with how it turned out. So thank you to Khadija for using the hashtag and giving me the opportunity to paint your beautiful face.
okay we only have one more for today which makes me a little sad but again i'm hoping to do this again soon our last painting is this one is actually a funny and adorable story to me this is d doesn't draws partner and i see that d got their permission to use this picture for the hashtag and i hope you don't mind d i did a little bit of snooping and all of your pictures together are so adorable you're both super cute and when i saw this picture of d's partner i had to paint them look at the flowers look at the hair look at the lighting and the magnificent beard i just couldn't pass up this opportunity one thing i really like about this particular reference is that because they are next to a window there's a lot of cool light coming in and then the shadows and a little bit of the reflected light from the room are very very warm so there's some really interesting contrast there i also am a bit of a sucker for wispy hair and opportunities for like loose florals i feel like as i went along even though i didn't do all three of these watercolor sketches on the same day by the time i got to this third one my sketch was really loose and ultimately the painting reflects a lot of that looseness and I really like it. I like how different they are. One of my favorite things to do when I'm painting brown hair is to mix in like a granulating blue. I really like the way that brown and blue already neutralize each other, but when you have like a strong granulating blue, like a cerulean sort of blue, there's like a softness to the mix that I think is really nice. Working on this one, I think it is the painting that I allowed myself to loosen up the most as far as like straying a little bit from likeness and when it comes to working from reference images trying to capture a likeness is almost never one of my primary goals so working on this video was a really interesting challenge as i wanted to make the sketches recognizable as the people that i was actually sketching which i've kind of trained myself to avoid doing over the years i usually approach a reference image with trying to reinterpret particular aspects of what I'm seeing. And I know that I could have done that with these. I could have really stretched the things I loved the most about these references and turned them into something completely different. So maybe in the future when we do more videos where I get to draw and paint more of you, I'll do something more like that and reinterpret your references a little bit more. But for this one, it was really fun to try to capture each of you a little bit. And this process, as well as this entire video, for me, excuse the sap feels in a way like a love letter to you all. Just one way that I want to say thank you to each of you for being here for however long you've been here, whether this is the first video you've seen of mine or the hundredth video. Every single day I'm just overwhelmed with gratitude that I get to do what I do. It feels amazing and special to feel like I have a job that has purpose and meaning and provides something to people and is like mutually beneficial to all of us. I get to create content for you and you give so much back to me.
So thank you to D Doesn't Draw for submitting this photo to the hashtag, and also thank you to your partner for giving me the opportunity to paint your beautiful face. And here are the batch of all three of the paintings that we did today. I had so much fun with them and I will be reaching out to all three of you to see if you would like a digital scan of the painting I did of you. Thank you all so much for submitting your photos, not just to the people who I got to paint, but the people that I didn't. I'm hoping to do more of these soon, so keep them coming. As always, a huge thank you to my members here on YouTube and my patrons over on Patreon. I create exclusive vlogs, digital downloads, monthly mini prints, and original paintings over there, so if you're interested in supporting this channel further, you can check out any of those places. Thank you so much to every single one of you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I had so much fun with it, and I will talk to you all next week. Bye bye! Goodness, my face hurts from smiling.